At the beginning of the movie, Sakasa Shinohara, a beautiful girl, is running to reach her school on time. Unfortunately, when she tries to enter the school premises, one of the teachers catches her and accuses her of being late. Sakasa attempts in fear to explain that she is on time, but fails. Fortunately, before the teacher can write down her name, Hayato Arima, a charming guy, arrives there and grabs her hand as he rushes to the classroom. The teacher tries to stop them, but Hayato keeps running, followed by a smiling Sakasa. The scene then shifts back to when Hayato initially joined the school. The teacher makes him sit with his bestie Sakasa, but he doesn't talk to her out of awkwardness. Later, as other kids in the classroom mock Sakasa for having a name that sounds like a boy's, Hayato stands by her side and mentions that he likes her name. After the incident, Sakasa begins to like Hayato and secretly keeps glancing at him in class. One day, as their middle school nears an end, Sakasa gathers her friends and explains that they should go on a trip during their vacation. At the same time, Hayato shows up and begins to flirt with her. This makes her friends presume that he too likes Sakasa, so they advise her to confess her love for him before someone else does. Sakasa initially resists, but when her friends keep pressuring her, she agrees. After that, Sakasa follows Hayato to a lonely area of the school and confesses her love for him. She proposes to him and admits that she liked him since the first day she saw him. Unfortunately, Hayato declines her proposal and informs her that he simply considers her a close friend and has no romantic feelings for her. This devastates Sakasa, but she takes the rejection like a champ and leaves with a smiling face. The scene then fast forwards to the next year where the students have advanced to high school and Hayato is in the same class as Sakasa. Right then, a new student, Yashuhiro Hasabi, walks towards Sakasa and tries to flirt with her, telling her that he is glad they are in the same class. Sakasa is not affected by his charisma, but her friends find him handsome and attractive. Sometime later, when Sakasa enters her new classroom with her friends, she discovers that someone has written about Hayato rejecting her proposal on the chalkboard. Right then, Hayato arrives there, reads whatever is written on the chalkboard, and gets enraged. He then jumps on the guy who appears to have written it. Later, because of his aggressive behavior, Hayato gets suspended from school. In the next scene after school, Sakasa visits Hayato outside his apartment and calls out to him. When he appears at the window, Sakasa expresses her gratitude to him for standing up for her. She also promises to love him even if he doesn't feel the same. A few days pass by and Hayato returns to school where Sakasa is waiting for him. They greet one another and start talking casually. After a while, when Sakasa tries to enter the classroom, the same boy who wrote about her on the chalkboard approaches her and apologizes. Sakasa doesn't know how to respond, and seeing this, Yashuhiro steps in and tells the boy to leave. After that, he approaches Sakasa and reveals that Mayu, Hayato's ex-girlfriend, is his cousin and that she sent him to take care of Hayato. Sakasa is upset upon hearing this because she was unaware that Hayato had a girlfriend in the past. The following day, the class goes camping and Sakasa is chosen as the group's leader. When the students arrive at their camping spot, they are delighted to find that other school students are also having fun there. As the captain, Sakasa can be seen looking after her group. After a while, Mayu, who studies in the other school, approaches Hayato. She mentions that he is still the same and has not changed in any way. Though Sakasa notices the two talking, she walks away silently without disturbing them. Afterward, Sakasa and the group prepare food and enjoy it together. Later, Hayato helps Sakasa when she is alone and carrying heavy utensils. He asks if she's okay and even holds her hair when she does the dishes. Sakasa responds by saying that she is fine and asks why he turned down her proposal in middle school. Hearing this, Hayato admits that although he does not like her romantically, he feels comfortable around her as a friend. He goes on to talk about her beauty and personal qualities, but surprisingly, Mayu shows up and asks Hayato to talk to her privately, prompting Sakasa to walk away. Following this, Hayato questions Mayu about her health. The latter asserts that she is good and is trying to adapt to her new school. On the other hand, Yashuhiro follows Sakasa and informs her of Mayu's previous relationship with Hayato. This frustrates Sakasa and she walks away, saying she doesn't want to hear anything about Hayato and his ex-girlfriend. Later in the evening, the girls gather in the common area and discuss visiting the boys' room for some fun and games. Sakasa, being the group's leader, initially objects, but reluctantly gives in after the girls mention that Hayato will be there. In the next scene, they head to the boys' room and the guys warmly welcome them inside. There, they play various games and engage in conversations, even discussing plans to go to the beach at night. Unfortunately, the noise attracts the attention of a teacher who comes to inspect the room, 
prompting the girls to hide under the blankets. Just as Sakasa is about to hide with another guy, Hayato pulls her in and covers her with his blanket. The teacher takes a look around the room, but after realizing that all the boys are sleeping, he leaves. The following day, camp is over and the students go back to school. Surprisingly, Mayu is also there. She approaches Sakasa and tells her how relieved she is to learn that Sakasa is Hayato's close friend. She then asks Sakasa if she can join them at the beach and if she can help her get closer to Hayato. The innocent Sakasa simply smiles and agrees to assist her by nodding her head. The following day, the high school group was at a beach where everyone is having a good time, but Sakasa is looking at Hayato and Mayu talking. At the same time, Yashuhiro comes up to her and says that he thinks she is a brave girl. This is because she took Mayu to the beach despite knowing everything about her and Hayato's past. Yashuhiro then talks about Mayu's condition and how her parents split up just before she changed schools and broke up with Hayato. Hearing this, Sakasa appreciates Yashuhiro's love for his cousin. Elsewhere, as Hayato is talking to Mayu, she suddenly becomes ill. Seeing this, Sakasa goes to the local store to get some ice cream for Mayu, and Hayato also joins her. Later, when the two are walking back from the store, Sakasa remarks on Mayu's beauty. However, by the time they return, Mayu's condition has worsened, so Hayato takes her to a resting place. After a while, Sakasa visits Mayu in the rest area and stays with her. The latter expresses her appreciation for Sakasa's help and her kind nature. Soon, Hayato shows up and decides to accompany Mayu home. Sakasa, on the other hand, is joined by Yashuhiro on her way back home. While waiting for their train to arrive at the station, Mayu apologizes to Hayato for bothering him so much in his life, but he mentions that he is well aware of her faking the illness. To Mayu's dismay, Hayato goes on to mention that they can never be together again. Once the vacation ends, school resumes, and on the very first day, Yashuhiro approaches Sakasa and confesses his love for her. Unfortunately, she declines and walks away. Yashuhiro tries to follow her, but Hayato intercepts him and chastises him for trying to pursue Sakasa even after she rejected him. Hearing this, Yashuhiro retaliates, saying Hayato has no right to stop him because even he rejected Sakasa in the past. Afterward, Hayato goes to Sakasa and asks her if she wants to go for a walk. Sakasa is initially pleased by the sudden offer, but when she recalls Mayu's request for assistance in getting closer to Hayato, she declines him. Hayato is disappointed by the rejection, but Sakasa assures him that she is fine and that he shouldn't be worried about her. The following day, Yashuhiro can be seen smiling as he looks at Sakasa. Some of his friends approach him and mention that he has been acting differently over the past few days. They also say that he appears to have fallen in love. Later that day, Sakasa is talking with her friends about the upcoming festival when one of them reveals that she will be attending it with her boyfriend. She also tells everyone that Hayato will be at the festival, and hearing this, Sakasa starts getting anxious. The scene then changes to the festival day where Sakasa shows up having dressed gorgeously. Hayato and Yashihiro are waiting for her, and both of them are stunned to see her appearance. During their walk to the festival, Sakasa feels something weird in her foot and begins mending her sandal. To her surprise, she finds Hayato waiting for her till she finishes repairing her sandals, while all her other friends have already left. In the next scene, the two are having some shaved ice, when Hayato asks Sakasa about Mayu's scar on the back of her head. When Sakasa confirms it, Hayato reveals that he is the cause of the scar. He goes on to explain that Mayu proposed a breakup when she was about to transfer schools. As she was anemic since childhood, the sadness of the breakup caused her to fall unconscious and hit her head on a fence, resulting in a scar. Sakasa is deeply moved by the story and feels overwhelmed, prompting her to go to the bathroom and cry. Later, outside the bathroom, she runs into Yashuhiro, who inquires where she was. Sakasa replies that she got separated from Hayato, and the two start looking for him. Right then, a fireworks show begins, and Sakasa can be seen staring at the sky. After some time, she feels awkward when she sees two people locking lips in public. To her shock, Yashuhiro pulls her towards him and kisses her forcefully, causing Sakasa to slap him and return home. Hayato, on the other hand, receives a message from Sakasa, stating that she has returned home after her sandal got broken. At night, Hayato arrives outside her house and starts confessing his love for her. He mentions that he feels complete when she is around. Hearing this, Sakasa gets emotional and tries to reply, but she stops when she remembers the incident with Yashuhiro. Sadly, after not getting a reply from Sakasa, Hayato walks away dejected. 
The following day, all the high school students are preparing for the festival. At this time, Sakasa overhears the boys discussing a school legend that says a couple will be together forever if they walk into the campfire. The scene then shifts to the day of the festival, where Yashuhiro apologizes to Sakasa for his previous behavior and confesses his true love for her. As expected, Sakasa rejects him, saying that her heart belongs to Hayato. Right then, Hayato arrives and sees the two together. Enraged, he approaches Yashuhiro and threatens him to stay away from Sakasa. After Yashuhiro leaves, Hayato confesses his own feelings for Sakasa, telling her that he cannot bear to see her with anyone else. Sakasa is taken aback by the revelation, but before she can respond, Hayato walks away. Afterward, Sakasa goes to Hayato's room and tells him that someone had kissed her that day, which is why she couldn't face him after he confessed his love for her in front of her house that night. Hayato asks if it was Yashuhiro, and when Sakasa doesn't respond, he assumes that he is right. He then becomes upset with himself for not being able to protect her. Suddenly, Hayato asks if he can kiss her and pulls her close, expressing his jealousy for Yashuhiro. Sakasa is surprised to see such emotion from Hayato, and the two embrace each other. In the movie's final scene, Hayato and Sakasa are standing with some of their friends in front of the campfire. They all run towards the campfire when Sakasa looks at Hayato and confesses that she can't imagine loving anyone else. The movie concludes with Hayato kissing Sakasa and declaring his love for her.